All right, guys, so this is going to be the first episode of the Mark of Cry video game. I wanted to kind of do a raw video about it because I have not played this game since I was probably like five, maybe five, four or five. So I wanted to get my actual reaction to playing this game for the first time in a long time again. So let's go. A story of warriors and kings. Dude. A saga of dark magic. A legend of my adventure. Long ago. During the first age. A series of dark spells were created. One of these spells had the power to bridge our world and the one of darkness. An evil spell with no purpose but that of destruction. Before it could be invoked, it was stolen and broken into six separate parts, six lines, six incantations. The spell, however, was dark and powerful and not easily destroyed. So instead, it was hidden away in a place where none would find it. Scattered about the world in six separate locations. Six different families entrusted with its safekeeping. But men are mortal. And time can be the enemy of fear. All too soon we forget how the bee will sting and the fire will burn. As time passed, the families forgot these marks were for. Mankind dismissed the ancient warnings about these words of power. They were merely stories, tales from a long past time. But the denizens of the world of darkness knew nothing of time. With infinite patience they waited. Then, after a millennia, to their dark joy, the spells were rediscovered. Oh man, I don't remember any of this. I remember this. Let's get into it. New. I actually have a memory card this time. When I played this when I was a kid, I never had a memory card, so I had to restart every time. So, I don't know how much of this game I have actually played. He had become a fine swordsman, and his training was now almost complete. But why train if he was to stay in the safety of his home forever? My master was restless. It was time to move on. Time to take his first step into manhood. His muscles yearned for action. His heart sought adventure. His sword craved combat. Oh man, I can't. I'm so excited. I think it's loading. I remember when I was a kid, sometimes the game would freeze right here for me. And if it froze, it wouldn't actually load. So like it would just be stuck, you know, and I'd have to restart it and hope it didn't freeze there. Dude, I cannot wait. Eight megabyte memory card. Y'all remember that? Oh, what? I didn't know that the right joystick did anything when I was a kid. Sorry, I'm just kind of running around and figuring things out. All right, I'll talk to this guy first. See what we got going on. Uh, you want work, huh? Uh, I don't know. Business has been slow lately, boy. People tell me bandits have made our neighboring forest their home. Anyone trying to get here is being robbed, or worse. It's made Baumusu nervous. He thinks it's the beginning of dark times. I think they just need a good kicking before they'll move on to someone else's forest. Hmm. Well, Musa tells me you've become pretty good with that sword of yours. Uh, maybe you could... Ah. Uh, well, maybe I've got some other work around here you could do. Uh, uh, how about washing down some tables for me or uh, mopping the floor? Uh, well, maybe you can help Tati clean dishes or, or sweep up or pick up or after her. She's... Kind of a mess herself. People keep flushing foreign objects down the toilet. <laughs> you want a train, boy? There's still a trick or two I can teach. All right, let's try this. Eyes itching. 
AGI, AGI. I don't remember much of this game when I was a kid. Fun fact, it actually... I could not remember the, Simple, the name of this game to when I wanted to play it, when I was trying to find it. Um, sorry, my eye is killing me. I actually looked up a list of every PlayStation 2 game ever made from A to Z and just went through the list until I found a name. It looked familiar. And I saw the rise of like Kasai or something, whatever the next one is. I also bought down here beside me. Um, and I was like, oh, that sounds familiar, but I don't think that was the one that I played. So I clicked on it and then I found the Mark of Cry with it. And I was like, oh yeah, that's the one that I played. And I, I clicked on it and it showed me the cover art. And I was like, yeah, that was my game. All right. This was not the kind of work my master was looking for. He was young and in search of adventure, freeing the land from murderous bandits. Now that was a job worthy of a warrior. He left that same day, his sword strapped to his back. Kuzo, his spirit guide, scouting the path ahead. The bandits had been terrorizing the local roads for months now. Rao had heard that they were camped out in some local ruins. He had also heard that they were many in number and skilled as swordsmen. <laughs> Good. Good. My master did not want this to be too easy. All right. So I think I'm going to cut that whole like training portion out because it's pretty long and you just have to sit there and listen a lot. So. Uh, obviously I don't think that'll be enjoyable, so I'll put my, like, reaction of playing for the first time, and then I'll just do this first mission, and that'll be the first episode of the Mark of Cry series. I keep trying to turn my camera, like, with the, with that button. I see a guy up there. Spinning board icon marked by beam of light. Yes, I know, but I don't see a spinning icon marked by beam of light. Oh, there's one. Use the left analog stick to look around, fly to another perch by centering, blah, 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 blah. I'm pressing the L2 button to regain. That's to me. Let's go over here. Oh, no. I could probably get these guys, but that guy's got the horn. Let's go over here. What do I do about this guy? Is there another button I can... No, everything just switches. Alright. Oh man. Straight executed that guy. Actually, I wanted to look through his vision there. Because I want to fly here. Oh. So I'm going to have to go up there real quick and kill that guy. I'm going to leave him over here. Oh, I can't even get up here. Oh, I can. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if there was like a jump button or something. Let's 
striking walls. Rest weapon will bounce off hard surfaces. Head, I bet. Yeah. Defend and attack from a different from six different enemies. Use use other collect save scroll Coco combo Fuatoko Fau combo with sword. I don't know how to do that. Fuatoko Toko Fahu. So it's X circle circle X. Okay, I'll try it. So I need to get to that guy first. Climb the ladder. There we go. PS2 controls, you know what I'm saying? Try I don't know how to do it. I can't get it right. Oh well. Call my bird back. I'll get him to get that scroll up there. I think that's where it wants me to. That was one of the challenges or whatever. Okay, come on, bird. It's taking ten years. change the camera back to cinematic I want to see a I don't really like it from the side like that but I was I was just curious I want to see how it would work okay so that's me let's go here then okay me where I was don't see anything This is where I just was. Did I go the right way? Or was that it? Because uh, I don't remember. I got no idea. Let's see if there's another way I can go. Doesn't look like it. So when I'm done, do I just head back to the beginning?
Oh, probably go this way. I mean, Del Torres was crying. Taking care of her making this video. Cinematic view, I take it back. Alrighty then. Game is everything I remember it to be so far. What's this way? Looks like it would be something secret. We'll go this way first. I bet this is like the end, didn't it? No? There's a horn guy over here, though. Oh, I got the combo on that one right there. Fall over and die like that. I got another save scroll here. Guess we'll go back this way. What you got, bird? That was quick. fall Game is pretty brutal, if I'm being honest. I don't remember it being like this when I was a kid. Okay, I wonder if I just went a different way. I don't have a bow, so I can't like. Dude, you can just go up to him and do that after? Dude, this game is brutal. Oh my. 
think this is much further than I ever got though. I don't know that I've ever made it this far. I do not remember all of this. Ooh, save scroll. Can I get this save scroll real quick? No. Okay, but I don't want to grab that just now. Dude, this is going to be rough. There's no way for me to take out the horned guy. Don't want to take this just yet though. Do they climb up or? I guess I'll take it then. Oh yeah. I blocked it man. Whoops. Oh, I got a free save. Let's go. We'll just let him die off. We're not going to be too mean to him. Send our bird out. There it is. A lot of people here too. Great. What's up here? The end. I assume that's what this is, anyways. Oh, it was to raise that up. Nice. That's all I got till I get to the door. Okay, let's do it then. Killed off all the bandits. Assume the other lovers are right here. Yep. Okay. 
Okay, now I gotta go get big boy here. I'm gonna get all my health back though, because I'm about to die. Bro, you tell me I gotta go be inside all these guys? Oh my goodness. fixing to happen over here. Guess this is just the end. Okay. My master returned home in triumph. The neighboring forest had been cleared of bandits and people were once more free to travel. The delighted innkeeper praised Rao's courage. He was a happy man. Soon business would return to normal. Weeks passed, and word of my master's skills as a swordsman spread far. Rao enjoyed his newfound fame. <laughs> Though the stories were becoming a little exaggerated by his sister, who would recount them to anyone who would listen. Soon. Rao's mind began to drift once more in the hope of adventure. He would not have to wait long. All right. Well, that'll do it for the first episode. Appreciate you guys for coming and watching this episode. Make sure you subscribe down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.